Bezetamibe works by decreasing cholesterol in a totally different way from statin medication, and it's been around since 2002. In this video, I will explain everything you need to know about azetamibe, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. I'm also going to answer some frequently asked questions in my clinics at the end of the video, such as what's the difference between statins and azetamibe? When is azetamibe used? And what are the other medicines used for lowering cholesterol? These are really important questions that you should be fully informed about when making a decision about taking your medication. So let's get started with what is azetamibe and how does it work? Azetamibe is a type of medicine used to treat high blood cholesterol. It has been shown to lower cholesterol blood levels of low-density lipoprotein, LDL, sometimes known as bad cholesterol. So if you've been diagnosed with very high blood cholesterol, you may be prescribed this. It's used to prevent heart disease, including heart attacks and strokes. And it works by reducing the amount of cholesterol your body takes in from your food. It does this by inhibiting the absorption of cholesterol in the intestines, so it works totally different from statin medications. It also doesn't really require lab monitoring, like patients who are taking statins who need their liver and kidneys checked each year. So what is cholesterol? We all need cholesterol because the body uses it to build the structure of our cell membranes. Cholesterol helps make hormones like estrogen, testosterone and adrenal hormones. It helps your metabolism work efficiently. For example, cholesterol is essential for your body to produce vitamin D. And cholesterol makes digestive bile acids in the intestine. So from these examples, you can see that there are many reasons why our body needs cholesterol, but very high levels of cholesterol can increase your risk of heart disease. And with very high cholesterol, you can develop fatty deposits called plaques in your blood vessels, especially if you have existing risk factors, which cause inflammation in your blood vessels, for example, such as smoking or eating a diet with lots of fatty processed salty foods and being inactive and overweight, or if you have a family history of heart disease. Eventually, these deposits grow, making it difficult for enough blood to flow through your arteries. So who may not be able to take azetamibe? It is not suitable for some people, so to make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to azetamibe or any other medicine. If you have liver problems or if you're pregnant, planning to get pregnant or are breastfeeding. So how do you take it? The dose for adults is one 10 milligram tablet taken once a day. You can take it with or without food. Swallow the tablet with a drink of water. And if you take your medicine as prescribed, your cholesterol levels should drop within two weeks. Now, what are the common side effects? This includes constipation, bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, flatulence, headaches, muscle aches, but less common than muscle aches with statins, fatigue, raised liver enzymes that are detected from lab test results. So what are the serious side effects? Tell your doctor if you get severe muscle pain, tenderness, weakness or cramps, if you get yellowing of the whites of your eyes or your skin, pale poo and dark pee, this can be a sign of liver problems. If you have severe stomach pain just under your ribs, this can be a sign of pancreas problems or if you get a serious allergic reaction. Now, these are not all the side effects of azetamibe. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. Now, what are the cautions with other medicines? Now, some medicines can affect the way azetamibe works and increase the chances of you having side effects. So tell your doctor if you're taking any of these medicines before you start azetamibe. Cyclosporin, which is a medicine used to treat psoriasis or after an organ transplant. 
if you're taking medicines used to prevent blood clots, such as warfarin and other medicines used for lowering cholesterol, which I will discuss in a minute. So let's start to answer some commonly asked questions in my clinic. The first question is what's the difference between statins and azetamibe? Azetamibe and statins reduce cholesterol each with their own different mode of action. Azetamibe lowers cholesterol by blocking cholesterol being absorbed from the small intestine in your digestive tract. Statins lower cholesterol by reducing the amount of cholesterol that our bodies produce by inhibiting an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase in the liver. The second question is when is azetamibe used? Primarily, azetamibe can often be prescribed together with a statin to further lower your LDL cholesterol levels. So if your statin is at the maximum dose and alongside exercise and a cholesterol-lowering diet, but the LDL cholesterol remains high, Azetamibe can be added with the statin. Or secondly, you may also be prescribed azetamibe alone if you cannot take statins, perhaps due to intolerable side effects. Or thirdly, if a statin medicine just doesn't work for you on the maximum dose, or you are at high risk of a heart attack or stroke, for example, if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family history of heart disease, and your LDL cholesterol remains high despite being on the maximum dose of a statin. So the next question is what are the other medicines for lowering cholesterol? Statins are the most commonly prescribed medicines and include simvastatin, atorvastatin, pravastatin and rosuvastatin. I do have videos on atorvastatin and rosuvastatin that goes into this in a bit more detail and I will leave a link down below in the description box if you'd like to learn more about these medicines. And another medicine that lowers cholesterol is bempadoic acid that lowers cholesterol in the blood by reducing the production of cholesterol in the liver. And other cholesterol-lowering medicines prescribed by a specialist include bezafibrate and phenofibrate for treating high triglyceride levels which is a type of fat in your blood. Cholestipol and cholestyramine, known as bile acid sequestrants. These are a powder which works in the body by binding to bile acids in your digestive system and prevents bile acids from being reabsorbed or recycled into your body and this action can be useful in lowering cholesterol in your blood or the PCSK9 inhibitors are a type of medicine known as monoclonal antibodies. This is usually given every two to four weeks by injection. They work by blocking the action of a protein called PCSK9, and this protein is released by liver cells and raises cholesterol. Or there's inclisiran, known as small interfering RNA and are injections given every three to six months that work similarly to the PCSK9 inhibitors. And lastly, there is a highly purified omega-3 fatty acid, a type of fat that's present in fish oil known as EPA. Now I will go into these in more detail in my next videos, so be sure to subscribe to be notified when they are released. And I also want to add that azetamibe also comes mixed with other medicines. For example, in combination with simvastatin, it's known by the brand name Energy in the UK and Vitorin in the US. Rosette is the brand name for rosuvastatin and azetamibe in the US. And when azetamibe is mixed with bempadoic acid, it's called Nustendi in the UK. So the bottom line is that azetamibe is not the best studied medication compared with other statins such as atorvastatin or rosuvastatin which are more commonly used cholesterol lowering medicines and are more potent in decreasing the LDL cholesterol. It would be better if someone could lower their LDL cholesterol by eating a healthy diet 
especially a whole food plant-based diet with regular exercising, which would be considered more preferable to taking azetamibe. So please share your thoughts or experiences with azetamibe in the comments section. And you can also watch my other videos on how to lower cholesterol naturally or the playlist. Thank you for watching.